Hey, doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside. Then offered to show me. Super fun guy. Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Till then it had been regular guys in fancy suits. Electro was a bit gonna miss that humorless grimace. Mob Enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. Vulture might be the smartest guy up on this wall. Not smart enough to duck three consecutive life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were, when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. Ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that, and well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this... Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short.
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. You sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. AIM has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny them my genius? Ha! Ah. Kidding, of course. Doc's working on some kind of advanced hypodermic delivery system. Maybe to help with implant rejection? I don't know, that's a big needle. Wait, is this the raft? Are you doing work for the Supermax prison? Indeed. They're soliciting bids to modernize their security grid. Figured I'd try my hand. Lucrative contract, and a satisfyingly difficult nut to crack. Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities, replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead, we gave people something they've never seen? Something straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with, and instead, unleash the awesome power of our minds. Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. No expectations. It would be hard to screw this one up. I guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. This is Sable Control. What's our situation in Nomad? Demons are attacking Outpost Romeo. Send back up. Okay, so this station collects overflow data from all the others. Yeah, God forbid we waste Oscorp server space. Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly, or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge, and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data. But I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there. Fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Okay, now to find another link in the array. Got it. Just have to keep doing that.
What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? Looked like DNA sequencing, but that seems beyond the scope of the research stations. Focus, Pete. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. Should be in view of the ESU server now. Got it. Now I can initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Good. Hmm. Let's see. Good. Hmm. Let's see. working everything stored successfully should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space and he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing hey MJ bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. You are not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. <laughs> MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place?
that office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Almost shot a rat. Yeah, we build this war beast for Lee. Lee finances the boss's new venture. Win win. Well, you better clean Yo, your slag off that sloppy well. If boss sees that, he'll be pissed. Need to get into that office. You tried any yet? What are they building? Is this all for Lee? Only samples. Boss is still perfecting the recipe. Man. Hey, kick. I heard something. Wait! So what's the boss doing with the money from his Lee job? What are they building? Is this all for Lee? Grave dust, man. All that cash is going straight into grave dust. You tried any yet? Only samples. The boss is still perfecting the recipe. Man, it's got a kick. Everything okay? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? That guy's not going anywhere. Maybe I can just... Hey, I heard something. What is this? Some kind of military hardware? Hey, when do we get a new recess song? Office must be to my right. Need to move careful through here. Supplies. Not till we toss the empties. Boss wants them lost in a Jersey swamp by next week. Very dust is pretty under the table, I guess. <laughs> yeah, under the table, the floor, and the first few layers of the Earth's crust, yeah. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? Won't notice. Ah! Cousin won't be there. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! Ah! Ah! You got some stones, right?
time now. building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? Here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves devil's breath, whatever that is. Yeah, I'll dig into it. So I was thinking, what if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? What, like a spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Ah. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. <laughs> Charles Standish. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh! Oscorp CFO! Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... But, but where do you want me to, uh... Just which is fine. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Cause it sure feels like we are. Partners! Uh, sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. All my life, all my life, I've been chasing. Trying to find a way to leave out of my mind, I find. I just want to echo in no fucking pain, I